man squirmed under Ryland's weight. He seemed calm, an older and more experienced shifter, but Ryland could see the real terror in his eyes. I thought you would know the answers to that, Oracle, he said. You know I'm the Oracle? Krista prodded with disbelief. Of course. I was promised a higher rank if I brought you to the pack, the man said, his voice cracking under the pressure, along with the bones and the wolf soul. You have the bones? Krista stated. What is your pack planning? I am bound to my pack by blood. I will never betray them, even if it means sudden death. Ryland couldn't bear to hear him talk anymore. The violent thoughts and urges were overwhelming him, and the lack of information from the shifter only infuriated him more. He lashed out with his jaws, and as he did, he felt as though five long seconds were slipping away. Right before his eyes, with no memory of how he lost them, he couldn't even hear Krista's terrified screams. When he came to, there wasn't a man anymore, only a ragged pile of flesh and blood attached to the bones of a man. Ryland shifted back, quickly removing himself from his kill. For some reason, the pain had subsided inside of him, as if a thirst had been quenched. He could still taste the rusted iron on his tongue as he wiped his face. Krista was staring at him, trembling. As he tried to move closer, she scooted herself away, her eyes locked on his. Are you okay? He asked quietly. Do you always do that? Krista's voice was barely a whisper. His heart sank. He didn't mean to, and he didn't want to, but the curse felt otherwise. He could only shake his head and held out his hand, hoping desperately that she would take it. She didn't. He has the bones, Krista said, her eyes avoiding his. He was going to take me to his pack. Ryland bent down next to the fresh corpse so she wouldn't have to. He searched every pocket until finally he found a dark satin pouch. He shook it, hearing the crackle inside as if stones were rubbing together. He opened it. He discovered it was the oracle bones, small and pearly and etched with ancient runes. Is that them? Krista asked from afar. Ryland nodded. He understood why she didn't want to be around him, but it still stung him. You said you saw a wolf, Ryland said. Was it him? No, Krista said. That's what Ryland thought. He didn't want to believe the third element of Krista's vision. But it didn't stop him from trailing back to the freezer room. There had been two shifters after all. Some candles remained, casting a faint glow over the lifeless carcass of a wolf in the center of the room. He bent down in front of it, placing his hand on the cold body in reverence. He had found her, just as the other alphas had found their missing pack members. Ryland felt a twist in his chest. Who is it? Krista asked. Henna, a great strategist. Ryland said. She was an excellent contribution to my pack. If only her boundless knowledge of strategy could have helped her sooner. He found an old tarp and covered the body. Should we talk to Declan? Krista suggested from the doorway. This wasn't Declan. Ryland growled. This was something much worse. <laughs>